whole show for you today. All right. Please have a seat because we have the electrifying Niecy Nash Betts and her wife Jessica Betts. They are here. So listen, welcome to the show. I love you too and I love our next guest. The Emmy Award winning actress and her rock soul musician wife are here for their first, first sit down interview together on this sofa. Now, here's the deal. It was this post that no one saw coming in 2020 and got everyone talking. Nisi announcing that she was married and introduced Jessica and was holding nothing back in what has to be the sexiest social media accounts out there. And in April, we saw Nisi and Jessica make history when they became the first same-sex couple to grace the cover of Essence magazine in its 52-year run. They just celebrated their second anniversary. We have so much to talk about. Nisi's new show, Jessica's music, which you will hear her perform on this stage today. Tam Fam in a daytime exclusive to tell us about how their life is, everything and more. Please welcome Emmy Award winning and incomparable actress Nisi Nash Beck and the love of her life, Jessica Beck! Oh my gosh. I'm telling you, okay, so I wa watching you walk to, every time I see you feel like you're walking down the aisle again. Nisi doesn't feel <laughs> does is it is the honeymoon phase still after two years? I feel like I just got married. Yeah. Yeah. We we oftentimes will just be like in bed or something and look at each other and go. We yeah. <laughs> because, yeah, it still feels new. Does it still feel new, Jessica? Yes, Surreal new? Because you guys yes. got, you blew up the internet. They say people break the internet. Yeah. You broke the internet. The yeah. internet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it feels new, but it feels good. It feels good. Wow. Yeah. You know, um, <laughs> you said to my team, call me Nisi Nash Betts because a lot of people just still introduce you as Niecy Nash. Yes. And you say, say my name, and this is my Hi. name. Yeah. Say my name. <laughs> I love my name. Yeah. Like, I love it. And um, even with my new series, Rookie Feds, the poster, yeah. thank you. <laughs> the, the poster says Niecy Nash Betts. And when they first did it, it said Niecy Nash. And oh. I said, uh-uh. Mm. And so when they changed it and I posted it, so many people called me and was like, you go by Betts now? And I'm like, that's my name. Yeah. <laughs> that's my that's name. That's my name. Yeah, that's my name. I love it. I love it. You, as I said, second anniversary in August, you surprised Jessica expanding the family. Yes. Y'all have Michael J. Betts? We do. This is Michael J. Betts? <laughs> <laughs> Jessica, how is it being a fur parent? It's fun. It's a lot of work because he's still a he's still a he's still a puppy, still a baby. But it's cool because you got to get up. That's but, like uh, a baby, baby. Yeah. You got to get up. Let me tell you, uh -oh. real talk. <laughs> um, the other day I said something. I was like, you know, just complaining about something, and she said. Let me tell you something. I'm the one who gets up at 3 o'clock in the morning. I'm the one who has to clean up the poop. I'm the one. And I said, you sound like an old black mother. <laughs> and I just said, you know what? You're right. I know you are putting in so much time to train him. And, I, and, I'm, and I'm so sorry. And I, and I appreciate you for all you do for us. Isn't that what I said? Yes, you did. And then, <laughs> 
<laughs> and then she stopped fussing. <laughs> then you stopped fussing. I mean, it was everything you thought it would be and more. When you made that announcement, I remember everyone calling me, did you see Niecy's post? Oh my gosh, Niecy's married. People were mad they weren't invited because you only oh, had like yeah. 24 people. <laughs> no, yeah. people were going, longtime friends were going on social media like, what's up, Niecy? You didn't tell us. Oh yeah, we still got some people who are crispy with us right now. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> because they did not get the invite. But, you know, first of all, it was COVID. Yeah. Second of all, our relationship wasn't a secret, but it was private because we were trying to figure it out. Yeah. I never been in the community before. <laughs> uh, so, I was trying to figure it out. And by the time, by the time I figured it out, Jessica put a ring on it. So right. I was like, okay. I mean, look at that hourglass Niecy Nash Betts figure. Oh my God! Well, that was my COVID figure. It, it, look, that look, that that hour had a few extra minutes. <laughs> no, man. But the love story is one. You know, this as I said, your first daytime interview together. It it built. This was a simmer that then led to this moment. Nice. Niecy, you first heard Jessica's music and then you f started following her on social media. Yeah, I was married and I was happily married yeah. at the time. I saw her in a something online and I something went through me that said, cover and protect. Mm -hmm. And I was like, that's weird. How can you cover and protect someone you don't know? But when I know I hear from the most high, I just go on and do what I'm told. <laughs> so I said, well, I, I, and I started to pray for her consistently. Without having I, ever met her? Nope. Bless her career, bless whatever, you know, she's trying to do today, give her peace. Give, I don't know, I don't know this person. Yeah. And then um, when I got an opportunity to do a TV show, there was a character that did not speak but had this mysterious yeah. presence. And I immediately thought about her. I'm like, she would be great. Right. Called her, said, would you like to do this thing? She said, I never acted before. And <laughs> I was like, well, let me help you. Yeah. So we trained on, so, on, on FaceTime. Mm -hmm. And um, she yep. tested four times, and then she didn't get that part, but later got a different part, and that's how we first saw each other face to face. But I was still happily married, and she was in a relationship too, so wow. we still didn't even yep. think about. Well, that's the thing, because anything you'd, you'd been in a relationship that it ended. Nisi, you were ending your marriage, mm -hmm. um, which you've been very open about as well. But in your friends, right? You're in this friend zone. You feel a connection. What then was that moment where you said? For you, Jessica, mm -hmm. it's more. Well, one night we were going to have crabs, you know, and she invited me. Well, actually, did I invite you? I think we invited. No, you, I somehow. invited you. I said <laughs> I'm going. Me. No, you invited yourself. I invited myself because she says. <laughs> <laughs> you invited we was yourself. Going to, get, going to get crabs and um. <laughs> And so she was like, well, I'll meet you there. And I was late, you know, I was late. I, I arrived late, but when she, when I got there, she had already started eating. Because it wasn't a date. It, it wasn't a yeah, date. Yeah, because you're in the friend yeah, zone. You the eat friend without zone. Home. your friends, like, you can meet start you eating before there. they come. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. And then as we were sitting there and we were talking and I was like, wow, you know, I just started seeing her different. It's just in that moment, you know, because at that point, my relationship was over. I know her uh, relationship was over and I was just like, Wow, you know, I started seeing her different, and then well, she asked I know me if I, I wanted. Well, I you different. Well, okay, because uh, okay, because uh, this is a, a I dark. Start, I started sweating <laughs> under my arms. <laughs> well, <laughs> my throat got deal. dry. <laughs> you, you felt the fever. Yeah, you caught the I got fever. The fever. Yeah. But since this is an adult show, kids go to bed. <laughs> you ghosted her after your first intimate encounter. But it was, a, the, yeah, the, but that was right after Crabs. I was yeah. like, let's get to it. Yeah. <laughs> well, I wasn't like, let's get yeah. to it. She was like, let's get to it. <laughs> and then, yes, I, I, I ghosted because I got, let me tell you something, this is the real truth. I was so afraid of losing her as a friend. If that messed it up, I would have never been able to forgive myself because I said, I want to know this person until they throw dirt on my face. Oh. And if I can't be your friend because of that, let's just back up real quick and go back to that because I want to know you forever. Yeah. Aww. Thank you, baby. I love you. Nisi, I remember I was at the airport, LAX. Nisi Nash came in. The whole airport was like, Nisi Nash! Mm -hmm. So now you're in front of not Nisi Nash. You're in front of a woman that you want to be your girlfriend. Yes. 
Yes. What did that feel like? Well, you know, the moment she ghosted me, I knew what that was. And, and what, I, what I did was I reassured her, you know, and I texted her and I said, you know, your heart is safe with me, you know? It's really safe with me. Um, <laughs> The most interesting thing is that when I, when we first became friends, I had asked her what her name was. I was like, what's your name? I, I know that everybody knows Nisi, Nisi Nash, but what is your name? She said, she said Carol, but I thought I heard her say Cora. You see Cora tattooed on her neck right here? Where's the and family? You see Cora so is tattooed I, I, right I, here I, I on her call, neck. I was calling her Cora for almost two years. <laughs> And she, and she started asking me, she, one day she said, why do you call me Cora? And I was like, well, that's your name. I said, no, it's not. I thought it was something that the cool kids called each other in New York on the street. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like when you say, what up, B? Yeah. I was like, I thought it was like that. I was like, my name is yeah. Cora. She said, it is now. <laughs> <laughs> You have Cora? Yeah. I have Cora tattooed Do you right still here. call her Cora? I, yeah. To this day, her name is Cora. 